What is up guys? We're back for another race event. I got my super official racer lanyard here. Um, so we're in Amarillo at the drag strip. It's an eighth mile flashlight start. Um, water burnout only. I don't believe it's prepped event. I'm in the daily driver class because I'm a slow poke. I believe the daily driver class is going to be the most packed class, of course. $100 buy-in. I believe it's like $1,000 or $1,200 for the win first place and it's like 250 for second place last time I got locked out of third gear from first to second or from second to third I mean um, then I got knocked out first round and uh, yeah so I'm hoping to make it to at least the second round <laughs> this time uh, much cooler temps that day I think my intake temps in line was like 150 or 160 it was hot today's high is 75 and it's supposed to get down to like high 40s tonight we're not starting racing, I think, till six. It's like two o'clock now. I want to go get teched in. Should be a pretty good night. I think test runs start at four. So we should be able to get some, some testing in. Got the new tires on. I do have a buttload of camber up front now. I got three degrees of camber up front. Just went and got alignment yesterday or two days ago. Got my tires put on yesterday. Went from the Federal RSR to the Bridgestone Puenza RE71R. Um, I don't know. If this tire is going to be any better for drag racing, really, it definitely should be an, a better autocross tire. But uh, I don't really have a grip issue anyway in drag racing, so I don't. I mean, I'm I should be fine. But uh, my buddy Victor with uh, Big Turbo All Track 85 Flex, all that, he's here. He's not racing. He should be racing tonight. There should be shenanigans going on after this tonight, and then tomorrow, eight o'clock in the morning, autocross. So. A lot of stuff going on. Potentially three videos out this weekend, but at least two. Um, it's gonna be exciting. I'm excited as fuck. I don't know what kind of crazy cars are gonna be in my class. Most of them are probably gonna be auto. So, I don't know. It'd be nice to at least make it to the second round and I'll just vlog for the rest of the time, get, get a bunch of clips. But this is where we are. I'm not on E85. Uh, I'm on like an E30 mix. I'm not even like on an E30 tune, I'm on my 91 tune. I just threw some in there to help a timing pull. Uh, my altitude and shitty 91 is just not good. So that's the way the car is. I'm a, actually pull the laptop up here, uh, turn it up to 29 pounds, and uh, maybe bump the timing one degree. So we'll see. But we get tucked in and uh, just enjoy the video, see what goes down. Clips 
seen so far is just testing. We got testing for like two and a half hours. I spent an hour watching because the lines were backed up all the way around the corner. So I just got in line. Um, gonna actually put this burnout switch to use. I haven't been able to use it yet at the track. So we'll uh, we'll activate that, do a little burnout, see if it, it probably mean, I don't know if it'll actually even really make a difference. I'm not gonna do like some huge, crazy, nasty burnout, but do it for, for the fun of it. I'd probably do two, three tests, call it good. We got uh, testing ends at 6.30, chip draws at 6.45 for my class, and then uh, my class is up first at 7.30 when elim elimination start. I believe my class is the most packed. We'll do a little bit of video when we do the chip draw, and uh, there's first round only call outs, so you can call out somebody in the first round if you want. Um, I've seen a couple cars. That's why I waited so long until I did mine. I wanted to kind of spot out who was launching and how. So there's a couple couple cars I've seen go through more than once and can't get off the line very well. So, I mean, they're, they're high horsepower cars on street tires. So, I don't know. It would be my luck. I'd call somebody out who I see didn't do good, and then I'd fuck it up myself. So we'll see how it goes. I'll do some testing here and uh, have some fun. feels great burnout switch doing its thing I don't really know uh, if it's really doing anything I mean it's definitely gonna be warming up the tires which should help but um, with the flashlight start it's kind of tricky being a manual car so you you get pulled up to the line after you do your burnout and you sit right and then one of you are gonna get pulled up first so he's, you know he's standing there you're on the line and he's gonna pull you forward stop Pull the other guy, stop, but like, depending on which side you're on, you need to be like on the launch control before he even bumps you up. Because if you get bumped up second, then you have to, you're pretty much going, the light's going like right after you get bumped up. So it's kind of tricky. It'd be nice to have a staging brake, like a hand brake, hydro e brake, which is something that I'm looking into. But um, yeah, not missing any shifts, no lift shifts doing good. Cars sitting at like 31 pounds of boost. Um, I guess I got a little bit of E85 in the tank just to help with timing. I haven't touched the timing on the tables at all, um, on the computer for the tune, but it feels great. It feels really good. The only issue, it's not even an issue, it's just the only luck is going to be the draw. We're going to go draw chips here soon, see how many cars are in my class. And there's just like a ridiculous amount of stupid fast cars in my class. I know of multiple, multiple 900 plus wheel cars in this class, at least four, and there's probably more than that. So we'll see how this goes. I mean, at this point, it's just for fun, so I might as well just send it, you know. Um, I mean, maybe I'll get lucky and go through a couple rounds. It'd be dope. The winnings for my class is 1500 bucks. so. Um, Victor got a video of my first practice lap. I'll put that in here. Yeah. Hey, buddy, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you Hell yeah, I'm good, I'm real good. Just got done testing it. Here, we'll, we'll get to more videos here. So, this is a good look at my class real quick. There's us two, yeah. Cars that you would consider, you know, daily drivers. And then you got all these guys. All these crazy. Looks like Karma took one test pass and said... Multiple stupid need. fast cars. And then where all the Hellcats are. So there's 51 cars in this class. It was a hundred dollar buy-in, and it's fifteen hundred dollars to win, seventeen fifty if you're a manual car that wins, which I only think like there's maybe four manual cars in this class. Um, 
I am race number 17 against a pro charged like a little Chevy short bed single cab truck that's pro charged on a pretty big tire in the back you claimed it's slow that's what everybody says in Texas how fast is your car oh it's slow well, slow compared to what we're all slow compared to a thousand horsepower car so we'll see uh, hopefully I'll get him off the line I don't know temperature starting to drop sun's about down so got about another 20 minutes till we start racing and it's probably be 20 minutes until I go so it'll probably be about 40 minutes till my race my goal is to at least make it to the second round third round would be dope um, that's all I got hopefully Victor gets a video from the start line for me and uh, may the best racer win saw the video I kind of botched the launch I get so nervous up there and I have to slip to you know I'm, I got launch control set at 6,000 rpm I'm making like seven pounds of boost off the line if that and uh, I kind of didn't slip the clutch so it like kind of ball because I dropped it harder than I should have because I get nervous this shit makes me so nervous anyway so he had me there for a good while and I just talked to him there at the end and he said his truck cut out hard light came on a dash they had reduced engine power and this and that so I got lucky, got real lucky. I made it to the second round, which is my goal. So we'll see if I can make it to the third. Highly doubt it. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah.
second round. I'm the fourth car. It's a blue Corvette over there with the trunk open. I don't know what's done to it. I don't know what's done to it, but I did see some of his test runs and his traction was very limited. He did not do very well on the traction front. And it's gotten probably 15 degrees cooler since then. It's 66 degrees earlier, okay? About 10 degrees, so. Here we go. Well, I'm assuming a couple of my buddies got a video of that. That fucking Corvette kicked my ass. I, went, I just stopped and talked to him. It makes 800 wheel on nitrous. And he had the tire, you go in the trunk, the billet, all the brackets, the bottle warmer, and you go up to the bay, he's got all the hard lines uh, to each cylinder, and it's nice. It's a real nice setup, and he said it makes 800 wheel, so. I wasn't even supposed to make it to the second round, really. And we got to talking, and he agrees that there should be, this class should be split up. There's no reason that, you know, 400 wheel cars should be going up against 800 wheel cars. Like, that's not... It shouldn't be. Even when my car turned up, it's probably making like 450, 460 right now. And there, there's no way. I got, and even though I did bog the launch, I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. But still, I mean, there's no way in how I would ever won. But it was a good time. I'm going to go record more shit. And we got autocross in the morning to make up for my big L today. <laughs>
in line at McDonald's. It was an overall great night. I believe a truck won my class. Pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, I had fun, you know. It's kind of a waste of $100 to race, but uh, whatevs. Uh, autocross in the morning, put these new tires and the new uh, alignment and additional negative one degree of camber up front to the test. So, be looking out for that video later this week. And next week, I have some videos on uh, cut my strut tires up, and then I got a video on doing uh, wheel bearing as well. So, stay tuned to that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.